So guys, I decided to come out to the canal this morning just to go for a little ride. Yeah, this is like my favorite place to go. It just helps me kind of get my thoughts organized, think properly before I start the day. Being real, the entrepreneur lifestyle is a struggle. I find myself doing a hundred things all at once, uh, dealing with clients, emails, trying to be creative, and it, it doesn't seem to all fit. And um, I did one thing that changed everything. I hired Josh. So what's up guys, hey, this video is a little different, but I wanted to introduce Josh Malloy, the newest member of Benny and Creative, um, to you guys online, and um, just talk about who he is and why he's even here and on the team. So just to kind of summarize how we met, Josh uh, just recently started going to uh, my church, New Hope Chapel. He's been serving on the media team, and I was like, yo, this kid's a beast. He's picking up graphics and video and photo. He's good at all three. But this totally caught me off guard. I was not expecting this at all, but he um, texted me. I think he texted me and you're like, hey, let's meet up for coffee. Yeah. I want to talk about something. Yeah. And I'm like, I wonder what he wants to talk about. I wonder if it's something between him and his girlfriend or something. <laughs> but um, in knowing who he was and his character and what yeah. he could do and accomplish, it was in the back of my, my head. I'm like, wait, this could actually work. And um, I just started instantly thinking about finances. I'm like, is this possible? Um, will Meg be okay with this? Will my business be okay with this? Um, so I gave it a couple of days and I'm like, wait, this could be huge for my company and me and him. Yeah. So uh, it all worked out. So some of you may know already, but the reason I started creating was because I was an avid skateboarder when I was like 13 to like 18. I still skate by the way, but um, I used to love making videos and me and my friends like just shredding around. And um, so I started getting into videos that way. On top of it, at my church, the video team just had started. I got into it um, that way and I was serving like every week on the media team and I loved it. And I'm like, wait, I could actually like do something with my life in this way. I just felt super creative. I felt the freedom to make whatever I wanted and it was really fun and I noticed that I could go in that direction. So that's how I started. But how did you get into this, Josh? What kind of brought you down this route? Well, for me, I mean, growing up, I always had a passion and a want to do video editing, but I just never really got into it. I never started. I never took that, that first step to really do it. And um, I, I would play around with it here and there, but I never really got started until about, I want to say last summer, I, I sat down and saw a graphic on a computer. And in that one moment, I just was like, wow, I can do that. And so... I think that night I went, I downloaded Photoshop and I just started creating. Mm. Like I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to do anything. And I just started making things. I started yeah. pulling out uh, verses from the Bible and making graphics that right. go along with it. So yeah, I get asked a lot, um, like how do you start to get into photography? How do you start to get into video? Yeah. And how do you bring yourself to, you know, making an income with it? Uh, but instead of me answering that, I would like to hear from you. What, how would you answer that question? Yeah, uh, the first, I mean, what I would say to anyone is just start. Like you can't, you can't grow, you can't learn things if you don't start doing them in the first mm. place. Yeah. So the first step, uh, if you want to explore something, start doing it. Yeah, and to go on top of that, um, you have to be passionate about it too. It yeah. has to be long term because if you start and you're like, well, I don't know if this is like my thing forever, but I want to do it to make some money, that will not make it last. Like that is not good enough to ride out the whole way. Um, you need to have a passion. You need to love what you do. So as a creative entrepreneur, the one struggle that most people have is they kind of like cap out, like they hit the ceiling. Yeah. They're like, all right, I can't do any more work. I'm gonna have to start canceling work so that I can do the jobs that I do have. And um, you're only gonna reach a certain level of, you know, income in business. Like you just will, you'll start to hit that ceiling and then you'll realize I can't really do much more. But um, the risky part is hiring someone that you, 
no doesn't have the same style or same editing or same techniques hiring someone to edit for you and edit other jobs and and work with you that's like one of the hardest things as a creative to do but i found out myself that it is one of the smartest decisions you can make for your business and for your company to grow uh, you need to you need to hire yeah. someone to help you in in um and after working with josh for a couple of months i realized that this is going to be a continual thing like i don't want to stop with just us two i want to make this into a corporation yeah. with many people yeah. um because i've i've seen that if i kind of let go of some uh work like some video jobs or some graphic jobs let him uh, have creative freedom with it he produces great stuff in Sometimes, you know, like I'll have to be like, oh, can you change this? Can you change that? But yeah. as long as you're both clear with each other and you know that it's for the best of the project, um, you can accomplish great things. I believe that your projects will be better um, because when you're working in a group together with someone, you can bounce uh, ideas off each other. You can create a better uh, product than if you did it just by yourself. Yeah. Uh, one of the best decisions as a creative company is to not limit yourself to just one person being yourself, yeah. but giving other people opportunities um, for your business to grow. Um, I hope there's some golden nuggets in there for you. Um, so make sure you grab that. You should add like a golden <laughs> nugget. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching this. I hope you got something out of it. And I appreciate you following us on our journey. Um, and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys then.